escaped. <laughs> hi, hi everyone, and um, gosh, I haven't gone live on on my page in a while, but um, I have some big news, South Florida. <laughs> um, okay, so let me bring in my friend. Uh, this is Nancy Stewart. How do you say? Your, I don't. I just call you Nancy Stewart. But how do you? Yeah, know? that's Nancy Stewart. Is who I am. Yeah. Um, so Nancy is an event organizer. So she was the woman behind the garlic, still is the woman behind the garlic festival and many of the other major festivals in our area. Um, and she is also now producing a twilight green market in Wellington. And guess what? That is where we are launching our Boyd Farms Fresh, um, meetups in South Florida so you can come and get our pasture raised farm fresh beef and I'm super excited about this Nancy I'm very excited um, you have no idea I think this is going to be a, a huge huge push for our, our market you know you're such a celebrity anyway everybody oh. knows you and I love I love what you're doing and I'm so happy that uh, we get to be the launch so I think we're going to do great things out there together yeah, and I love this idea of like a of a green market at night because you know, especially right now during this time, like people want to be out at night, and what a great place to go. But like you know, outside at a green market, tell me a little bit about the Twilight Green Market and how this idea came about. Well, before pre-COVID, um, the Village of Wellington, you know, we do several events for, for the Village of Wellington out there, and they ask us if we had any interest in doing a green market. And I was kind of absolutely not. I don't want to do a weekly event. I only do big events. Um, I don't think I could do an event every Friday. And then COVID hit. So that is kind of how we started to kind of occupy our time during COVID. Um, my husband sells sponsorship and corporate partnerships for us and spent his time just traveling all over the Tri-County area um, looking for unique vendors. And we thought, well, we'll do a Friday night because we really didn't want to compete with the bigger, well-established markets. Yeah. And we thought we can do something a little bit different. You can walk along the waterfront, have a glass of wine, listen to music. And it's been so well received. Um, people leave the event thanking us for doing it. So uh, we had some rain at the beginning, but the last three weeks we had beautiful, beautiful weather. So uh, Wellington has um, built a uh, multi-million dollar promenade along their waterfront behind the community center. And so this is where we're activating the green market. And it's just beautiful. People come up, the residents come up in their pontoon boats and, you know, join the market. And each week it's growing a little bit more. And who knew there was waterfront in Wellington? <laughs> I know. Everyone's like, where's waterfront? Well, I think it's a man-made lake. I'm not really sure. I don't really remember. I know that they do allow, allow motorized vehicles, only electric vehicle, you know, electric boats and things like that on there. But wow. they do their boat parade on the lake. Who knew? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I'm super excited about this. So I actually reached out to Nancy and was like, hey, I see that you're doing this market. You know, I've been trying to figure out how to get our beef down here because so many people have been reaching out to me. In fact, Nancy, I've been doing like individual deliveries where I'm packing up a cooler in North Florida and driving coolers full of meat to South Florida and literally going and delivering them to people. And I knew that that was not sustainable. So I needed a place, and we have these things we call meetups, M-E-A-T, meetups, where oh, people yeah. come and pick up our beef. And this was just a natural um, thing for that to happen. And I will tell you that for the first order where I literally packed up and, had, and came down with the beef, um, I would say half of our orders were from the Wellington, Royal Palm Beach, Loxahatchee area. So people in that area really, um, it, whatever we're doing, our, our beef, I guess, resonates with people in the Wellington area. Well, I think this is really, this is, we're really excited about it because this is exactly the type of unique things that we wanted to offer. You know, um, my husband, John goes out and he, he finds the, the ladies who make the homemade raviolis in Dania and he finds the people in Jupiter making bread and he finds the people making hummus out in Loxahatchee. And I said, 
wouldn't it be great if you didn't have to drive a hundred miles to go grocery shopping like he does and not everybody would do that. So we thought what a great thing to offer is to eventually craft the event where there's all these unique things that you can come and only get and pick up once a week, do your shopping at the market. And I think having you there is going to be really a great um, feature for us because I think people will get used to like monthly just placing their order with you and how convenient is that for them to come there and just pick it up from you. Yeah, and I'm super excited. So I just want to go through some of these. People are saying hi. Hi, everyone. Bob says hi, Nancy. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Bob was actually one of the people I delivered meat to oh, <laughs> for the first go round. Uh, thank you, Jared. Hi, Greg. Um, so excited, says Donna. Love to try Boyd, Boyd Farms Fresh. Sarah, my neighbor, says, hi, Suzanne and Nancy. So everyone's super excited about this. Um, Bob says, I was fortunate to meet and greet Suzanne for a meetup delivery. I literally went to Bobby's home. Oh, wow. <laughs> and brought the ground beef inside of his home. Yeah, that's um, not going to be sustainable, Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sustainable. I was literally all over Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast. But, um, but I will tell you that, you know, we've gotten so many people that are super excited about what we're doing. And I'm so, so thankful to you for letting us come and be a part of your green market. And at, on this, so it's this Friday night um, from five to nine. It's at, at the Wellington Town Promenade, which is on, I think it's like 121504 Silk Boulevard. Did I get that address right? Yeah, that's correct. That takes you to the front of the city hall. If you come up, Forest Hill Boulevard and turn into Ken Adams Way, which if you're GPSing at the address to the amphitheater, will bring you right there, which is okay. 12100. So it confuses people. It all takes you to the same place, but you just go a few feet further. I feel like it's all by the mall and all that same. Is it all by the mall, like same it's, kind of area? Yeah, it's west of the mall. It's yeah. west of the mall. So um, It's right behind their city hall. So we are going to be the showcase vendor, which I'm super excited about. And what does that mean, Nancy? Well, we decided to showcase our exhibitors every week for several reasons. One, we would let, we wanted to be able to start collecting data from uh, the attendees of our event. Um, and also to push um, attendees around the event, to move them to areas, um, to make sure that they travel the whole event and to showcase our vendors. Uh, a lot of what we found, and I'm very excited to try your burger, is that if you have an opportunity to have um, them explain about how they make their, um, their, their items, the baked goods, the bread, the things like that, and have an opportunity to taste it, you're sold on it, you know. Um, so I, I think that's what's going to be great for you also. Um, I'm pretty sure that from what you said about your burger, um, People are going to be signing, buying the ground beef like crazy after they have one. Okay, so I can't figure out on this platform how to not put our faces behind this burger, but <laughs> that's our burger. <laughs> sorry, sorry to get hands in the burger, but um, but this is our burger, and I'm telling you, I tried it when we when we launched this um at the farm tour, Boyd Farms Fresh at the farm tour, um. So I got the chance to taste our burger for the first time, and I am telling you, it is so delicious. You don't need anything on it. It is it is honestly that good. Um, so I, you know, I and I've had a lot of burgers in my life. <laughs> and we are giving away, right? Isn't that part of the show? To win. Yeah, they're gonna enter to win as a showcase. So what we ask is the showcase vendor to have some sort of a prize for the people that come by and enter to win. And you're giving away you win a burger and you win a burger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we're giving away 10 pounds of ground beef to whoever wins that um, that prize, I guess. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I did want to mention is that, so a lot of people are asking Nancy if they need to order in advance or shop from there. So here's the deal with the ordering in advance. Um, literally about an hour ago, our website launched. Um, boyfarmsfresh.com and you can go there and kind of find out the whole story of who we are and why we decided to do this and all of that um, but the other thing you can do is shop and buy our beef online but then you have to come pick it up from one of the meetups so if you do want to place an advance order I would definitely 
suggest that because if you have a specific cut you want or if you want to make sure that things aren't sold out, I would go ahead and place your order and we will have it for you for pickup in Wellington on Friday night. Um, you don't have to. I mean, we have plenty of inventory, but just in case, I would say if you have something specific you know you want, then you can go place it. Here's the other thing. I did not create the website. However, I've been doing a lot of the back end Shopify, which if you know anything about e-commerce websites, you have to go on the back end and put all the products up and all the descriptions. Well, I did all that myself. I was just going to say how nice it looks. It's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work. So I've been literally, that's all I've been doing for the last two weeks. So there may be some glitches in it, but it should work and it should be good. So Andy, if you want to go place an order, um, please do. If you have any issues though with the website, please let me know ASAP. Email me info at voidfarmsfresh.com, but it should work. And Are the you other going thing that's really cool is that your truck will be there. So you can come enjoy the market, walk around, place your order, and on your way out, pick it up. So you don't have to worry about keeping it cold or refrigerated or anything. I think that's the coolest part about it. Yeah. So what we're going to do, because typically what we do is have the truck right by us, but because, you know, at these farmer's markets, you kind of have to be separated from your truck. You'll pay at the tent and then and come get your burger. Um, and then we'll um, give you a ticket. You'll go to the truck at the end of the night because you obviously want to keep your meat cold and fresh, so you want to go straight home with it. Um, and so that is what we're going to do, have people stop at the truck at the end of the night and pick up their order. So what if you good. sell out everything? What are you going to do? <laughs> well, that would be great and also wouldn't be great because we're also supposed to go to Delray to the farmer's market on Saturday. So if we sell out of everything on Friday night, Delray is going to, yeah. So I guess yeah. you better come to Delray. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we have a lot of inventory, but, and I said, Dad, we're going to need to make sure we have plenty of stuff for South Florida, but we have no idea. It's hard to gauge something until you do it, right? The first time. Right. And we're so finding that, that once people try those things and then they're yeah. coming back more and more, it's great to sell out because guess what? They make sure they come back the next time. And a lot of our exhibitors are cross promoting with each other. Like yeah. we've got our, our one guy who's having the candle people make him a bourbon candle and we have somebody else making a sauce for them. And so the, a lot of people are kind of like doing business together and, you know, placing orders. People say, I I'll place an order and come get it at the market next week. So, yeah. And that's the thing, you know, we will be down and right now it's once a month. We may be down more often if we figure out that this is really going to be a huge thing for us. Um, and, you know, we're just, we're so new. I mean, we've literally just launched this business within the last few weeks that it's hard to really judge, you know, where we're going to be and what's going to make the most sense. I mean, really, our, our plan was never to come to South Florida. Our plan was to keep it hyper local to North Florida. So my dad has been in the cattle business for um, for many, many, many years and decided to take it direct to consumer because of COVID and what happened with the supply chain, all the meat packing plants and the harvesting facilities shutting down and the supply chain was interrupted. A lot of these cattle farmers got really scared and they got hurt. And so what happened, my dad said, we've got to figure out a plan B and plan B is taking your meat direct to consumer. So that's what we're doing. Um, but you know, there's a lot of challenges to that. And really it was just supposed to be hyper local to our farm in North Florida. But when I started letting people know what I'm doing and how I'm involved in the marketing of this, they were like, we want this in South Florida. So that's how that. Yeah. And I think people are through COVID have, switched um how they do their shop you know everybody's supporting local they're eating local they're shopping local they're buying local um they're supporting we're seeing a whole resurgence of people who are coming to vend at these events you know with etsy and facebook marketplace and all those offer ups we were seeing a big decline in vendors and now we're seeing all these people come up with these really creative products and um coming back out because there's mothers who've you know they've had to decide they stay home the husband works they have to school their children so um i think it's i think it's going to be really a huge hit and and your dad's coming right 
They're going to get the dad is the coming. His wife Jeannie is coming. Um, we have a couple of other people coming. My kids will be there. I mean, it's like all hands on deck. Cool. <laughs> so yes, everyone will be there. And I, you know, dad. Really, people want to talk to dad. They want to see the farmer. They want to talk to the farmer. And you know, I've done a couple of live interviews where I've talked about this, and dad's like, "Yeah, you, you didn't say that right." <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, this is why you need to be involved with this whole marketing thing because you really understand the process. And, you know, here's the thing. I mean, the other thing about this is with when you're shortening that supply chain, you know, you're getting a more nutrient dense beef. You're getting, um, it's better for you, it's better for the environment because they're not shipping cattle across the country. Um, the prices are better. We are competitive with the grocery store. Very um, competitive. Or not, we we can we are selling some of our cuts are cheaper than you can buy at Publix, and we can guarantee that it's all local. It's coming from a humane program. It's pasture raised. Like you know, there's a lot of places that can't guarantee that. So. Um, so I think there's a lot of advantages to, to doing so it. So as you expand and explode and get so big, and um, are you going to still continue to do meetups and continue that local kind of farm um, table kind of service that you're providing? Yeah, I mean, I think that's going to be what um, what sets us apart, right? I mean, you don't want to. There's there's already a lot of um, places that are doing. Like there's a there's a a farm out in Arkansas that I think is shipping its beef around the country or, or it's a conglomerate of farms that are shipping. Um, and they have a couple of those here in Florida, but, but really people want to come and talk to the farmer. They want to know where this is coming from. They don't want it. I mean, a lot of people do want our product shipped and I, I think that will be something that we're talking about. But right now, it's just all about hyper local, staying in Florida. I mean, our farm is in North Florida, South Georgia. Our um, finishing um, pastures are in Chiefland, which are sort of near the Gainesville area. And then the harvesting, the USDA harvesting and processing facility is in Central Florida. So everything is very, very close and all Florida centric. Um, so, you know, it's, all, we, you know, and these are people that my father has dealt with for years in the cattle business. So he knows them. He knows what's happening to our cattle. I think that was also a hard thing. I mean, when you ship off your cattle and you don't know what's happening to them, it's like, you know, my dad has a real connection to these animals and, you know, they give their lives for us. I mean, I'm not going to get into a debate about whether or not you should eat beef because that's a personal choice. But I will tell you that it's always best to know that the animal that that produced it for you lived a humane life, right? Exactly. So I think that's important. Um, okay, I, I, mean, I have a farm equipped, but live, oh, Conceta, that's where our farm basically is. It's kind of south of Quitman. So, um, all right, well, any final thoughts, Nancy? Anything that you want people to know about the – the Wellington Twilight Market come out to Wellington Friday night five to nine. We will be there. And did you say wine? Wine, yes. And we have Al Murata Beer Company there, so we oh. have we carry their beer and their vodka sodas. So yeah, stroll the. Al Murata Beer Company on. has a vodka soda. Yeah, they just came yeah. out with one. Yes, it's a. They have a cranberry, um, a pineapple, and a lime. They're a, my favorites. A cranberry. Ooh. Ooh, really refreshing, really light. Yeah, I might have to go get me one of those. <laughs> I had to leave the Boyd Farms fresh tent for a couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, we'll make sure. So yeah, there's lots of parking there. You know, anybody who's looking, um, if if there is no parking at the the parking lot by the market, there's one directly south of it um, on the other side of the community pool, and then there's also parking at the front of City Hall. Uh, a few little more steps of walking, but um, there's plenty of parking there. Just do not park at the public's parking lot, or they will boot you. Ooh, yeah, that's good advice. All right, yeah. so come to Wellington Friday night. Um, this Friday the thirteenth. Should we be scared about that? No, <laughs> I think it's good luck in some cultures. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, uh, so Friday the 13th in Wellington at the new Twilight Green Market. Then the Boyd Farms Fresh Truck will be in Delray at the Delray Green Market on Saturday at Old School Square from 9 to 2. That is 
if we still have inventory left. <laughs> I hope we do. <laughs> we have, we'll have plenty of stuff, but we are gr we are grilling up our burgers in Wellington. We're not doing that in Delray, but we are grilling up our burgers in Wellington, and we're giving them away for free. So there you and go. Thank, thank you for choosing us. Um, you've always been a huge support over the past twenty years. Um, well, uh, I just I'm, love you, Nancy. I mean, you're a you're a woman yeah. boss, so. You and I, <laughs> we go way back. Yep, yep. Always been a support. I really appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you. I'm excited to see you in person. Yeah. <laughs> On Friday. And not at 4 a.m. doing a news and broadcast. And not at 4 a.m. <laughs> doing it from the, from the garlic fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is true. Good All morning. right, Nancy. Thank you so much. Okay, see you Friday. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, so really quickly, I just wanted to let everyone know, once again, I just wanted to, because I pulled up some pictures here, I want you guys to see, I want to talk about some of our cuts really quickly. So this, sorry about, I don't know how to put the background on this. I really need to learn this platform a little better. But this is our, this is one of our cuts called a chuck eye steak. And I think a lot of people um, don't know about this because it's very hard to find in your grocery store. But this is called the poor man's ribeye. So you can get this for a fraction of the price of a ribeye. It's so well marbled and it's, it has such flavor. So make sure you come and check out our, um, our chuck eye and then our ribeye, of course, you know, it's one, it is our most popular steak. Um, in fact, so many people have said, I've had numerous texts from people after they cook their ribeye and are like, that was the best steak I've had in a long time. And then I talked a little bit about my dad. This is him basically going out. He does this every night, goes out in the fields and kind of hand feeds the cattle, believe it or not. Um, and this is our family, my family involved in the Boyd Farms Fresh. That's my dad, his wife, Jeannie, me in the white skirt in the middle. Yes, I know. Listen, I'm from South Florida. <laughs> That's my brother, David, and then his fiance, Kelly. So we are the Boyd Farms Fresh team. And then when you come to Wellington or Delray Beach, make sure you look for our meetups truck. I'm super excited to say that it will be wrapped when you see us in Wellington and in Delray Beach this weekend. Um, I'm actually going to take it to Coffs, um, and they're going to wrap it for us before all this stuff. So that's pretty exciting. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much. And once again, if you want to pre-order, you can do that right now at BoydFarmsFresh.com. Our website is now up and running. Please let me know if there are any glitches or any problems with that, but you can choose a location for where you want to go pick up your meat, either Wellington or Delray Beach. Um, or if you're in North Florida, Tallahassee, you can go to our farm and pick it up. Um, but we do not do home deliveries, so we're not driving our big refrigerated truck down the back roads. But you can come pick up your beef. Uh, let me see if anyone has any questions. I haven't looked at all the comments. Pre-ordered, see you in front. Yay, Mandy, so no problems, right, Mandy? Mandy says she pre-ordered. Nancy, keep up the good work. Okay, Susie, this is a good, good question. What kind of payments will be accepted? We accept everything. We have credit cards, Apple Pay. We're not set up for EBT quite yet, but we will be set up for EBT um, if we do have any EBT customers. And of course, cash is king, so we always take cash. But you can pay with pretty much everything. Um, Uh-oh, on it, I don't see the Chuck eye though. It should be in alphabetical order, Christina. So just keep looking. I hope it's on there. If it's not on there, in, um, send me an email at info at boydfarmsfresh.com and I'll make sure that uh, I get it for you. I did not see where to choose the location, but I wrote it in the comments. Oh, no. <laughs> see, this is the problem when, when someone like me has to create the whole website. Well, I didn't create the whole website. I have a great guy that did most of it, but I had to create the back end. Um, okay, any other questions? If you have any specific questions, please email me info at boydfarmsfresh.com and, um, and I'll try to get your questions answered, but uh, I don't understand why it's not letting you choose a location. All right, well, we'll figure that out. Thank you all for watching and please, please come out. And even if you don't buy some beef, just come out and say hi in Wellington at the Twilight Green Market on Friday, this Friday, November 13th from five to nine, and then Delray at the Green Mar Market during the day, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and you can meet my dad. That's interesting. 
you can see where Susie and Boyd came from. <laughs> All right, everyone. I really appreciate Oh, she found it. She found the truck guy. Okay, good. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Have a great day. Bye.